What's up guys, how's it going? I Rifted coming at you with another informational video. People have been asking me for a long time to cover this, so I just went ahead and did it. Uh, we're going to be looking at leg protection, and uh, it's been a really controversial thing in just about every group that I've played in. So I decided to go ahead and take a look at all the damages. Uh, we're going to be looking at the road sign kilt, the bone leggings, the wood leggings, and no leggings at all, and just pants. So first off, we got the road sign kilt, and as you can see, it really doesn't cover all that much of the body. Uh, you just got a little piece of metal hanging over your wang there, you got a piece over your tailbone, and you got a couple pieces over on your hips. So this clip right here is just showing the different areas we shot. Put one bullet in the groin, one in the hip, one in the tailbone, one in the calf, and one in the thigh, and on a couple of them we took one in the shin as well. So these are the different areas we recorded the damages from, and before each of the leg protections you'll see exactly where we took these shots. And for the sake of the video length, we actually did run through these pretty fast, but as usual there will be a graphic at the end compiling all of the damage values. And next up we've got the bone leggings. As you can see they cover a pretty big area, uh, pretty much the entire sides and front of the legs. They don't cover the groin or the tailbone though. And these areas are actually surprisingly important and take a lot of damage. Last and definitely least, we've got the wooden leggings. They do have a pretty high coverage, but the damage reduction is pretty pitiful. Uh, as you're about to see, you only get about two or three less damage wearing these than just not wearing them at all. It's kind of a waste of an inventory slot, and if you ask me, I'd rather take gloves and boots over gloves and wood armor. And finally, we took a look at how much damage you would take if the only protection you were wearing below the belt was pants. I did find that the pants only protect anything covered in this square up above below the groin. If you take a shot with an AK to the thigh, it's going to do 10 extra damage if you're naked, and 5 extra damage to the calf if you're naked. This area shown in the circle here actually gains no protection from wearing pants at all. And coincidentally, it's also the area that takes the most damage below the belt. Now while it's true that we have these two small slits exposed while wearing the roadside kilt, we can all agree that it's a far better option than the bone leggings or the wooden leggings because they give no protection to the groin at all. If you rely on pants alone for coverage in this area, you're looking at about 35 damage per hit. And it seems like a pretty small area, but if you account for bullet drop, anybody aiming center of mass is going to hit this spot pretty easily. When we look at all the data for the wood legging armor, you can see that it's really not that much different than the nun column. The only damage reduction you'll get is a slight amount to the thigh. Next up is the bone armor, and we can see that there's a decent amount of damage reduction in the hip, the thigh, and the calf. But dick shots and ass shots still do quite a bit of damage. I don't think it's really worth it. <coughs> Last up, we got the road sign kilt. And while it doesn't have damage reduction in every single row, we do see a pretty significant damage reduction in the first three. Given these values, I think it's safe to conclude that the road sign kilt has the greatest overall protection. Although it doesn't cover the most surface area, it does cover the main areas below the belt, which we know take the most damage. And after all, it does cover our most important organ. Thanks for watching guys, if you found this video helpful at all, don't forget to subscribe. Questions, comments, concerns, or ideas, throw them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.